Yes, so uh, my name is uh, Pablo Gavrilenko, uh, and uh, I will be uh, teaching uh, uh, advanced mathematical physics A. Uh, uh, so uh, if uh, uh, you want to ask some uh, 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 questions, uh, uh, you may write uh, through this email. Uh, so, so, uh, uh, so uh, uh, I'm asking uh, 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 to write uh, the emails uh, uh, those who are in audience, and I also ask uh, the same uh, uh, to uh, people in Zoom. Uh, could you maybe, maybe the easiest way is just to send uh, the email uh, here? Uh, saying that uh, 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 you are going to attend uh, advanced mathematical physics. Uh, so, uh, and uh, please ask uh, uh, those uh, who are not uh, present uh, uh, to do uh, the same. Ah, actually, uh, so there's. Um, So when you write uh, uh, emails, I, I'll ask uh, uh, you uh, the names uh, later. I will try, try to uh, uh, learn them. Maybe not, not immediately. But uh, 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 now uh, let us start uh, uh, with the uh, some introduction. Ah, by the way, I want to ask, uh, did you have uh, some uh, physics courses uh, like uh, um, uh, 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 electrostatics uh, uh, or classical mechanics? So, uh, uh, for example, um, uh, I don't know what uh, Lagrangian is or uh, and uh, do you know an obvious Stokes equation or Poisson equation? Ah, ah, so some know, some don't know. Uh, well, so. So, uh, 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 so what our course uh, will be about? It will be mostly about uh, the linear equations uh, with uh, partial derivatives. Uh, 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 like, uh, uh, so I, I will write uh, some examples of, of uh, equations uh, which we are going to study. For example, uh, such equation. Uh, so do you know uh, 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 how, uh, uh, how it is called? So, so it, it's called a, a, a heat equation or diffusion equation. So it's an equation for for a function of uh, in this case for variables, but number of variables is of course uh, an essential. Uh, 
uh, we can study anything. So it's uh, one example of equations we, uh, we are going to study. Uh, another is uh, uh, this equation. Uh, uh, so it will go on the same. So uh, 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 this is uh, uh, called a uh, wave equation. And uh, well, the name of it uh, also suggests uh, the origin of, uh, uh, of uh, 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 such uh, equations. The only difference is that uh, here we have second derivative, but uh, this is essential difference. It, it affects uh, the uh, behavior of solutions of, uh, of this equation. Mm. So uh, 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 another example is, uh, well, you can write a second derivative, we can write just zero on the left hand side. So, uh, and of course we can add more variables, uh, um, like uh, uh, more coordinates than just x, y, and z. And this equation is called a uh, Laplace equation. Uh, or uh, uh, it is always uh, an option uh, to uh, add uh, some terms uh, 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 which uh, don't depend on u. Uh, for example, we can add here some uh, plus j. Uh, this is called source. Here we can also add some plus. Uh, plus j, uh, and we will be also interested in uh, such equations. Mm, maybe what is better notation. Uh, so, so here we can also write uh, uh, something like plus, plus rho, but um, some homogeneous part, and in this case it will be called a Poisson equation. Uh, so uh, and th there is also uh, another uh, example uh, of the same kind. Uh, namely, we can put uh, some uh, uh, some constant times u in the left hand side, and uh, write uh, the same in the right hand side. And maybe it's time to introduce the notation. So this uh, operator um, uh, sum over d over dx. Uh, squared plus uh, d over d uh, y squared plus uh, d over d z squared is called a uh, Laplace operator. So we can also study equations of this kind. It's called a Helmholtz equation. And uh, uh, maybe the last uh, example of such equations uh, which uh, appears in, uh, in nature uh, is uh, uh, the uh, Klein Gordon equation, uh, which has uh, uh, um, uh, the following form. Mm.
So the difference uh, on the wave equation is that uh, uh, here we have uh, uh, another term which is uh, uh, proportional to u. And uh, m is a uh, mass of a particle. Uh, so I wrote these equations just to uh, show that uh, uh, something like this uh, appears in uh, some problems, um, and uh, I, I will show uh, how to derive uh, some of these uh, equ equations. Uh, 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 but uh, then uh, uh, I will also explain uh, why uh, all possible equations uh, uh, of uh, uh, not very high order uh, with constant coefficients uh, can be reduced uh, to one of these cases. In a sense, uh, it's not just uh, uh, just uh, some random list of uh, uh, differential operators. It's uh, a result of uh, classification of uh, uh, some uh, not uh, very complicated equations. So, and uh, it's basically everything uh, we can obtain if a uh, degree is uh, restricted by two. So, are, are there any questions about notations, for, for, for example, or uh, everything is fine? So far. Mm. Ah, so I did not say uh, uh, what can be the origin of such equations. So uh, this uh, equation it can appear uh, either in uh, uh, some electrostatical uh, problems uh, where we have some distribution of charges and we want to find the uh, uh, electric field. But uh, it can also uh, appear uh, if you are interested in uh, stationary problems uh, for the wave equation or for uh, a, a, a heat equation. If you say that this function does not depend on T, then everything reduces to the Laplace equation. And uh, this uh, inward equation uh, can, can also appear in the electrostatics, uh, uh, where we have uh, 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 some free charges uh, that uh, can uh, screen uh, some uh, external charged uh, particle. Uh. And by the way, uh, are such uh, applications uh, uh, interesting uh, for you or, uh, or not very much? Like, what is more interesting, to, to solve uh, uh, the equations or to derive them from some physics? Do you have any preferences? Ah? Ah. Okay, so... so. Hmm? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, uh, maybe I will show uh, uh, a derivation of uh, of uh, uh, some of these equations then. Mm. Uh. Okay, so, so ah, and now now I'm on Zoom so right. Okay, so okay, so, so some derivations. So let us start. Uh, so uh, actually, uh, we will uh, uh, start uh, with uh, uh, the uh, uh, simplest equation, uh, uh, the wave equation uh, in uh, one plus one. Mm. Uh, it is uh, basically the equation uh, so one plus one means that uh, we have uh, one uh, time uh, uh, direction and one space direction. So it's on the equation uh, d u over d t squared uh, uh, minus uh, d u over d x squared uh, is uh, zero. So, and what is the origin of this equation? Uh, 
Mm. Uh, it can of course appear in many different problems uh, and uh, actually uh, anyway the equation in 1 plus 1 uh, in some approximation will have uh, this form. But let us uh, fix uh, some particular problem. Uh, namely, uh, let us uh, consider the uh, uh, a string uh, with uh, t tension t. Like we apply some t tension at the ends of uh, this string. Uh, and uh, 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 the stream also has uh, some uh, linear density. Uh, uh, with some linear density lambda, which is uh, uh, delta m over delta l. So it's homogeneous, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, mass is proportional to the length of a uh, segment of the string. Mm. Uh, and uh, 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 suppose that the string is uh, uh, a little bit deformed, uh, so it's uh, a little bit uh, moved outside of the equilibrium, uh, maybe. Let us say the already coordinate axis. Okay, so here we have uh, uh, this uh, 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 tension t, and, uh, and this is coordinate axis x, and this is coordinate axis y. Uh, maybe let us denote this by this axis by u. Mm. Uh, and uh, 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 we want uh, to study uh, the following uh, problem. Uh, what uh, is the uh, evolution uh, of uh, this shape of a string, u of x, uh, uh, if we uh, created some uh, uh, initial shape uh, and gave it uh, some initial velocity and uh, uh, let uh, evolve according to the second uh, uh, law of uh, Newton. So. Uh, And uh, uh, to uh, study this, uh, we need to compute, uh, uh, we need to take some segment of the string and uh, compute uh, the resulting force that acts on this segment. So, so uh, there is on the same ten uh, uh, tension T applied uh, uh, tangentially to, to this uh, string. And this is applied uh, to uh, this uh, two ends of a uh, string. Uh, so, uh, 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 we can say that uh, uh, there is uh, some angle uh, on the left, which I let us know this angle like alpha left, uh, and uh, some angle uh, on the right. Alpha, right. So I've chosen them since so that they are both positive. And uh, first, I let us compute uh, the uh, angles in the approximation uh, when they are small. So, so uh, who knows what is the value of this uh, alpha uh, left uh, in uh, in terms of uh, the shape function uh, u of x. We have this u of x, some shape of a string, and uh, we want to, uh, to uh, compute this angle. Ah, and let us also denote these points, and this will be x left, and this will be x right. x left, x right. So, uh, maybe I can ask another question. So, 
what is the tangent of uh, alpha left in, in terms of something related to this shape function? Uh, how to express uh, uh, this uh, angle alpha left uh, angle between the uh, 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 tangential line to the string uh, in terms of uh, this uh, shape function u of x? Hmm? Uh, so, uh, could you say it again? Mm. No, because uh, uh, what, what is uh, this uh, uh, quantity? Uh, when uh, you write Excel, it means that uh, we have some zero uh, somewhere, and uh, uh, and uh, you are computing the ratio uh, between. Uh, uh, well, I'll draw another another picture. And this is a U of Excel. And this is Excel. And when you divide them, you uh, compute this angle. And uh, it's not uh, what we want. We need some uh, local quantity. So let us uh, draw some big picture. Uh, with the same string like this. So if you want to compute this angle, we need to say what? That this tangential line is approximating this part of a string. Uh, so uh, if we want uh, uh, to find uh, uh, this uh, this angle alpha, uh, we need to uh, to divide delta u by uh, delta x. This is some delta u. This is some delta x. So uh, so. Uh, Tangent alpha equals to delta u over delta x, and when we send uh, this uh, two points uh, uh, to each other, it uh, turns into du over dx. Right? Ah. Yes. Uh, maybe I should have done it uh, from the beginning. Maybe I can just use this picture. So, so we have uh, some uh, uh, tangent here, and we have some other tangent uh, here. So, so uh, let us say that it is a uh, so uh, uh, which angle should I use? Maybe this will be then mine. So, I'll, um, so. so this will be alpha L, and it will happen at the left end of this segment, around some point XL. And there will be another right end of this segment with some different slope. So here it will be some alpha right.
home. So it is located at X right. And here we can use the same uh, argument. Uh, so uh, this is uh, for X left. Uh, and uh, we can write the same for the uh, X uh, right. But here, this big picture is a, a nice uh, to explain something, but it's not very nice for the actual computations uh, because uh, uh, the uh, because uh, uh, this uh, uh, tangent is some nonlinear function and. Uh, uh, Equation can become nonlinear, and we also should uh, uh, take care about uh, other degrees of freedom of uh, the string. Like it can move not only in the vertical direction, it can move uh, also horizontally. So we don't want to, uh, to uh, do this. Yes. So uh, let us say that all these angles are small, and so uh, tangent is uh, approximately the same as alpha L. So it is just alpha L. And uh, this is uh, 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 just uh, alpha right. And uh, 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 now, uh, why are we uh, doing all, all, all this? Because uh, we want to compute uh, the resulting force uh, acting on this segment of string. Uh, so it's another tension T. Uh, so. Uh, So this uh, resulting force uh, has uh, 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 two components. Uh, mm. uh, 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 there is a horizontal component, and uh, it equals uh, to what? It equals to t uh, times uh, uh, cosine of uh, alpha right. Uh, Minus uh, t times uh, uh, cosine of uh, uh, alpha left because they act in the uh, different uh, directions. But if uh, uh, alpha right and uh, alpha uh, left uh, are small, uh, we can write uh, that it is uh, t times uh, 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 alpha uh, t over 2 alpha left squared minus alpha right squared and it is uh, almost zero because alpha is uh, small uh, and uh, this is what I was uh, uh, saying that uh, in principle we can have a horizontal motion of the string uh, which uh, we would like to neglect but if you now look, uh, look at, at the uh, vertical component of this force uh, so it it, it will uh, contain uh, first a projection of uh, this uh, right uh, uh, force, which is uh, t times uh, sine of alpha right. Uh, minus uh, t times uh, uh, sine of alpha left. And uh, again, let us uh, expand it uh, as a Taylor series. It will be uh, t times uh, d u over dx of uh, x right uh, minus uh, d u over dx of x left. And uh, now say that uh, x right and x left uh, uh, tend to each other. So when uh, x right tends to x left, uh, we can uh, expand it as a Taylor series uh, and uh, say that it is uh, uh, x right minus x left. Uh, 
uh, times uh, uh, a second derivative of u times t times d2 u over d x squared of, of x squared, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so, but uh, it's uh, for the uh, vertical. Uh, oh, so sorry, it is for the vertical component. Uh, and uh, now, uh, uh, so we, we know that uh, uh, there is a, 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 a certain uh, Newton uh, law which says that uh, uh, mass of uh, this uh, uh, segment of string times its acceleration. So the second derivative in time should equal uh, to this uh, uh, u uh, projection of, of a force. Uh, so uh, delta m. Uh, to u over dt squared uh, equals to uh, t times x right minus x left uh, times uh, d2 u over dx squared. And, and uh, now let us remember uh, about the linear density of the string uh, and uh, and consider this ratio. It is precisely the linear density. It is delta m over uh, over the length of uh, the segment. Uh, so uh, lambda uh, d2 u over d t squared equals to t d2 u over dx squared. So it's in this equation that uh, describes uh, uh, our string. And if you want to get rid of uh, this uh, lambda and t, uh, we can just uh, say that uh, um, uh, there is some other variable. Uh, let us say that t equals to uh, t tilde uh, times uh, square root of, uh, of uh, lambda by t. Uh, so that it it cancels this lambda and this t. In this case, uh, it will be d to u over d t tilde squared equals to u to u over d x squared. So here actually, uh, I have seen the first phenomenon that uh, uh, these equations uh, uh, usually don't have essential parameters. Um, in a sense, uh, everything can be reabsorbed uh, by the redefinition of these uh, variables. So there is uh, some canonical form of this wave equation. So is it fine? Do we have any questions? Um, by the way, uh, it was the derivation for uh, the string, but if you want to consider something higher dimensional, for example, uh, two dimensional, if you, want, if you want to consider some membrane uh, or even some crystal, it is always uh, easily doable because we can use uh, uh, an approximation of, uh, of the following kind. We can say that uh, uh, it consists of some uh, uh, of some uh, uh, masses uh, uh, located uh, uh, in the nodes of uh, some net uh, uh, with uh, uh, the tension t. In a sense, each uh, uh, strand in this net uh, has a tension t. Uh, 
and there are some masses m. And, and, and so on. So it's for, for the 2 plus 1 case. So which then has a, a tension t, and we can use uh, exactly the same arguments uh, to compute uh, the, the force. Uh, but now there will be two terms. Uh, one comes uh, from the uh, ch ch change of sh shape in uh, x direction. Another will come from the change of uh, shape in the uh, y direction. So it is x and this y, and this is u. So we will have in this equation like d2 u over dt squared equals to d2 u over dx squared plus d2 u over dy squared. Okay. It's from membrane. Ah, by, by the way, one one remark. So usually when uh, 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 people uh, uh, tell something popular about uh, the uh, uh, wave equation, uh, they uh, uh, keep in mind some uh, 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 waves on the surface of uh, uh, water. But uh, uh, this uh, analogy is uh, quite uh, uh, imprecise because in that case the uh, equation is uh, complicated and the dispersion law of uh, uh, of this wave is uh, uh, absolutely different. So as we will see uh, here, they will have velocity which is independent on the uh, wave vector and, uh, frequency, but in that case it works uh, differently. And uh, uh, we don't have that uh, second order operator. It is something more, more complicated. But um, uh, I, I, I don't want uh, to derive uh, in that equation because, because it's uh, uh, much more involved. Mm. Mm. Ah, maybe I can I can also show another origin of uh, uh, this uh, wave equation. Uh, namely, how it appears in uh, hydrodynamics or aerodynamics. Uh, so, uh, do you know, uh, so probably I asked already, uh, 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 do you know the navier stokes equation or not? Does anyone know? So, uh, if we, so did anyone remember this or not? Uh, oh, so, so there is an obvious stocks equation. Viscosity for simplicity. So, so it has uh, this form d uh, u over dt plus uh, uh, u gradient. Uh, u equals to minus a uh, gradient uh, of p over r. Ah, by the way, when I write uh, 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 gradients, uh, uh, is it fine? Do you know what it is? Hmm. 
Okay, so, so uh, uh, th there is uh, 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 this equation, and uh, uh, there, there should be another equation of uh, mass conservation. So does anyone know how, how it looks like? So th this. So that is d uh, rho over dt plus uh, uh, divergence of uh, rho times uh, v equals to zero. So it basically says uh, that uh, uh, the uh, 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 mass in, in some uh, uh, unit volume is uh, uh, ch changed uh, precisely by the uh, mass that uh, flows in or out uh, of uh, this volume. So th this uh, uh, part is responsible for this. In a sense, we can write we can rewrite uh, this equation in the integral form. Uh, uh, we can say that uh, the integral of uh, over some domain d of uh, this equation d over dt plus uh, gradient of uh, rho times v. Yeah. Ah, so, it, so I used u of the velocity. So it, it is uh, this uh, uh, identical transformation. And then uh, we can use some Gauss theorem, probably it's called Gauss, that a integral of uh, the divergence of uh, some vector over the volume is uh, uh, the integral over the surface around this uh, volume. And so the first part is uh, d over dt integral of rho over this domain d plus uh, integral over the boundary mm. rho u ds mm. uh, equals to zero for this mass, mass conservation. So is it something familiar or, or, or not? Okay, but uh, anyway, uh, there are these equations, uh, they uh, appeared uh, uh, somehow, uh, and uh, 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 we now want uh, to solve them uh, in the linear approximations. Uh, so we see that it is uh, in principle nonlinear, it, it contains something proportional to u squared. Uh, uh, but uh, But if uh, uh, perturbations of uh, uh, this, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot right here. If uh, perturbations are small, uh, we can neglect all these quadratic terms and uh, uh, write uh, the linear version. Ah, and we also should say that uh, if you have some gas or liquid, uh, we have some uh, equation of state uh, for this uh, p of rho. Uh, uh, so it is a function of rho. And uh, some uh, example of this function can be uh, uh, adiabatic uh, uh, gas. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, this p will be some constant times rho to power gamma. Some, some number, for example, on this. Uh, uh, so uh, now let us uh, uh, say that u is less than, much less than, uh, but to say one uh, less than some di dimensional uh, 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 quantity, better to say that it is just small.
So uh, in this case, uh, uh, we can let uh, this term and write uh, uh, that uh, du over dt is, uh, um, let us uh, use uh, this uh, um, uh, uh, this uh, uh, equation of state explicitly, right? And that it is uh, 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 gamma uh, uh, rho to gamma minus uh, two. Uh, gradient of rho. Uh, and also uh, rewrite on the second equation uh, uh, in the following way. D log of rho. Uh, maybe let us do these transformations one by one. Uh, That is divided by rho in the very beginning plus uh, u times gradient of rho uh, plus uh, uh, over rho uh, plus Rho times uh, divergence of uh, what does divergence of u? Uh, and the uh, Which I yes I thanks I, I forgot it yes it, it should be here thanks okay and uh, now. Uh, uh, we can uh, as, 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 as say that uh, uh, we can ask uh, who is small in these equations. Uh, uh, so uh, we see that uh, 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 u is small. So gradient of rho is also small. And in, in general, a uh, perturbation of rho uh, uh, about some rho zero uh, is uh, small. Uh, so, uh, if you look at the second equation, we see that this term is also small, and we can neglect it. Uh, so, so uh, after this simplification, after replacing this uh, row by row zero, uh, we can uh, write a, a, a even a simplified version of this equation, uh, du over dt equals uh, minus uh, c gamma rho gamma minus 2 uh, rho 0 and uh, let us uh, actually introduce uh, some uh, logarithm of rho mm. or maybe it is just fine no it it, it, it is uh, no, let us introduce a logarithm of rho gradient of logarithm of rho it's one equation. Another equation is uh, that uh, d over dt uh, a logarithm of rho uh, plus uh, divergence of u is uh, a zero. Uh, so it's uh, this uh, pair of equations. And, and now if, if you want uh, to exclude uh, 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 u from the second equation, we need to differentiate it uh, uh, in time once again and use the first equation. So here we apply d, d and dt. Mm. 
the entity and then we use the first equation and the result of this is the following mm. so d squared over dt squared over rho mm. yeah, plus uh, uh, plus gradient of uh, uh, plus the of uh, mm, minus c gamma rho zero gamma minus one uh, gradient of uh, log rho is uh, zero. So zero equals to this uh, and uh, uh, so if you now write it uh, once again uh, um, using the fact that uh, these are constants and uh, the derivative of gradient is uh, Laplacian uh, we get that uh, uh, d in uh, d, d squared of uh, minus uh, uh, c gamma C gamma rho zero to gamma minus one uh, Laplacian acting on log rho is zero. So, and it is uh, the wave equation that now describes uh, uh, some uh, perturbations in uh, in a liquid or or in a gas. So, so uh, 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 are there any questions about this derivation? And here again, we can rescale t or coordinates uh, to re remove uh, this uh, uh, number here. But uh, if you uh, don't want to rescale anything, then a physical meaning of uh, uh, this uh, is uh, uh, the uh, uh, speed of uh, uh, sound in, uh, uh, in this uh, medium squared. So it is a speed of sound squared. Okay, so can, can, can I go further? Or? Hmm? Uh, uh, where? No, it's a uh, VS. Uh, v sound. Hmm. So it describes so sound waves uh, in some medium. And uh, if you want uh, to compute uh, their actual, uh, actual uh, 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 speed, uh, you need to substitute uh, uh, the uh, actual uh, uh, equation of uh, state uh, for the air and uh, uh, derive this uh, 300 something meters per second. So uh, it contains uh, some constants, uh, temperature, uh, pressure, and uh, that's all. Mm. Oh, okay, so. Mm. But maybe there is uh, this part. Mm. So I wanted to, uh, to show uh, just uh, uh, one more uh, physical problem uh, which uh, gives rise uh, to uh, such equations. Uh, and then go to, to the classification.
So I, I forgot if this equation has some name, but let us just uh, name the problem. So uh, Oh, the problem is the following. Uh, we have some uh, medium, uh, for example, uh, uh, so it, it can be either a plasma or some uh, electrolytic uh, 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 substance. Uh, but it is something where we have uh, 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 three charges. So we have some plus charges, minus charges. So there are three, three, three charges. Uh, and uh, we uh, uh, put uh, here some some external charge or, or some distribution of external charges. It, it, for example, positive, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so it is external charge. And if you study uh, the uh, uh, if you study electric field in this uh, medium, then it is described uh, in the following way. So, uh, uh, it's a field strength is a minus a gradient of uh, of uh, 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 electrostatic potential uh, and uh, uh, this electrostatic potential uh, is described uh, uh, by the equation or maybe you can say that uh, uh, one of uh, Maxwell's equation uh, without independence uh, says that uh, uh, the divergence of uh, E uh, equals to uh, rho to uh, in principle it is rho over epsilon zero but uh, uh, let us just, uh, I know, we can keep actually this electrostatic constant, it doesn't cause any problems. So uh, this is uh, one of uh, uh, the uh, Maxwell's equations uh, without time dependent parts. Um, uh, and uh, 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 this uh, 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 density of charges consists of uh, uh, two parts uh, of, uh, uh, of the three charges. Uh, plus uh, rho external. Uh, and uh, uh, to compute uh, uh, the uh, uh, density of free charges, uh, uh, we can assume that uh, they are in the thermodynamic uh, equilibrium. Uh, so uh, the distribution is is uh, given by uh, uh, Boltzmann's law, uh, namely that uh, rho Of a is uh, sum over the types of particles uh, which are involved uh, in this uh, story, uh, multiplied by uh, their concentrations, uh, and I multiplied by. Uh, so we have a sum of concentrations times the charges of these particles. And uh, since that in thermodynamic equilibrium, it is multiplied by an exponent of uh, uh, maybe e to minus uh, qi phi uh, over uh, kt. K is Boltzmann's uh, constant. Uh, 
so if we now substitute everything into this equation, then we get a word that Laplace on phi equals to minus rho external over epsilon zero minus a sum of i Qi uh, over mm, mm, epsilon zero e to uh, Qi phi minus Qi phi over Kt. Uh, and uh, uh, now, if you say that uh, uh, this uh, field is not very strong, we can expand all these exponentials uh, up to the first order in phi. Uh, and it gives us uh, the following. Plus n of phi equals to minus rho external over epsilon zero uh, minus uh, sum of uh, n i q i over epsilon zero uh, plus sum of uh, n i q i squared over epsilon zero times phi and the uh, uh, if you say that uh, uh, this uh, medium is uh, 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 neutral, it has uh, that it has uh, zero charge. Uh, and we say that uh, uh, this term is zero because if it is not neutral, it causes uh, uh, big problems because uh, uh, the electric field inside depends on the boundary conditions and so on. So it should be assumed uh, by default neutrality. So and this is approximate quality. Mm. Uh, so, so we get all that uh, in gradient of phi, and maybe uh, uh, plus one of phi uh, minus uh, this uh, object uh, minus uh, sum of uh, an i to i squared over epsilon zero. equals to minus uh, rho external uh, over epsilon zero. So, so it is uh, an example of this way uh, for its equation. Uh, well, with the right hand side, and I don't know if it has a special name or not. Uh, and so I call this screening, but uh, uh, why it is screening, uh, we will learn uh, uh, later. Uh, to, uh, to, uh, to understand this, uh, we need to know how, how to solve this equation. So it's a, it's a property of its uh, uh, so, so solution. So, and uh, for now we can just uh, I know that uh, there is such equation that describes uh, this uh, physical problem. Uh, so uh, are there any questions about this? Ah, oh, sorry, I forgot uh, this factor, which depends on temperature. And, ah, and uh, uh, by, by the way, uh, if you want uh, to have uh, some huge number of uh, examples of uh, such uh, equations with uh, higher derivatives, with many components, and, and so on, uh, the perfect source is uh, some uh, plasma physics. Uh, because uh, so it was the simplest example, but uh, you see that uh, even here there are some generalizations uh, that uh, are not done uh, and that are obvious. Because, if, for example, we are studying a statical problem, uh, but uh, 
we could study uh, some uh, time dependent uh, source and uh, we could study time dependence of uh, uh, all this uh, charge densities and it will describe some waves in a plasma so if you want a linear or nonlinear equations with uh, any strength dispersional laws uh, then all this can be found in the uh, in the plasma physics especially if you study some non equilibrium uh, systems because uh, uh, in this uh, case you have not only spatial distribution uh, but also some uh, distribution in the momentum space and uh, it will be uh, even more interesting mm. All right. Uh, b b by the way, uh, I told uh, this uh, 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 strange uh, examples of effective equations that appear in some physical assistance, but forgot to, say, to tell about the most important one, which is the fundamental equation. Uh, it is a Schrodinger equation. So this equation uh, uh, it has the following form ih uh, d psi and dt uh, equals uh, to the uh, 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 Hamiltonian acting on psi. So the fundamental equation, which works always, it uh, describes uh, quantum mechanics, uh, also quantum field theory uh, as uh, an infinite uh, a generalization of quantum mechanics. Uh, uh, so it's a uh, uh, basics of uh, uh, everything. And uh, if we study some particular cases of it, uh, for example, uh, uh, free particle on a uh, free particle in three dimensional space. Then it will have uh, the following form. So this Hamiltonian is uh, uh, minus uh, h squared over 2m uh, times the Laplacian. So this operator which corresponds to, uh, to this uh, problem. And if you compare it with the uh, heat equation written here, you see that the only difference is the, this uh, imaginary uh, unit uh, uh, in front of uh, a time derivative. Mm. Uh, uh, we can also study some uh, interacting system. So, so if you study interacting particles, uh, for example, with pairwise interaction without external field, uh, or maybe with external field. Uh, then this uh, Hamiltonian has uh, the following form. So if they have different masses, then it will uh, have uh, some different MIs here. Uh, at times uh, 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 Laplace operators acting on coordinates of this particular particle uh, plus uh, uh, sum of uh, uh, potentials uh, at uh, positions of these particles plus uh, some uh, pairwise interaction. And uh, uh, to uh, uh, understand the, the uh, order of complexity of this equation, it will be an equation uh, on a, a wave function that depends on x1 and, and so on and xn. So 
it is a linear equation on a function of uh, of n vectors in a, a, a three or two dimensional space so but uh, it is uh, a, a still uh, uh, some a linear equation with uh, uh, partial derivatives and uh, the order of this equation is uh, not greater than two and uh, this uh, fact is uh, uh, something uh, fundamental because in a sense that if we uh, deal with some fundamental system or with something which is not very far from a fundamental then uh, uh, the order of derivatives uh, is uh, restricted uh, by two and uh, it is uh, closely related to the fact that any system uh, any fundamental system is governed uh, by the uh, Schrodinger equation Mm. So, uh, so, and this is also some motivation to study uh, the equations of uh, uh, some uh, small order. And, and uh, uh, if you go uh, to some even more complicated uh, systems to uh, quantum field theory, we can understand that uh, it is uh, still described by this uh, linear equation, by the Schrodinger equation. But uh, the uh, Hamiltonian here becomes some operator acting on the infinite dimensional, uh, on the space of uh, functions on the infinite dimensional uh, uh, space or manifold, uh, because uh, if you look at quantum mechanics of um, uh, many particles, uh, the number of particles becomes uh, the number of uh, arguments of the wave function. And if you go to quantum field theory, then uh, the uh, number of particles becomes infinite. A coordinate of uh, any particle in the universe uh, is the argument of this wave function. So, uh, uh, but uh, uh, in that case, uh, people uh, usually uh, uh, solve uh, this uh, uh, equation only in the situations uh, uh, where it can be solved uh, explicitly and then analyze uh, this uh, solution, construct some perturbation theory. So if, uh, if it is so complicated, then people usually don't have all this uh, things that uh, we will have, some non-trivial boundary conditions uh, and, uh, and, and, and so on. So, are, are there any questions about, about this? So, yes, so, so it was about the uh, uh, motivation. Uh, the, about the origin of these equations, and now, now let us uh, go uh, to uh, their classification. Yeah. What can be is probably I can erase this. Um, by, by the way, um, uh, maybe uh, maybe it also makes sense to tell about the heat equation and uh, about its possible uh, origin. So it may, may be spend some time also for this. So, uh, 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 I suppose uh, that uh, uh, we have, uh, again, uh, some uh, uh, medium, some, uh, uh, something solid or liquid, uh, and uh, divide it uh, into uh, some uh, uh, small uh, uh, cells, uh, 
right, of size uh, uh, right, delta x by delta y. Delta x, delta y. And uh, 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 say that uh, uh, they have some temperature, a T of x and y. And uh, uh, if this temperature depends on coordinate, uh, it can cause uh, some uh, uh, thermal flow. Namely, we have some uh, flow G. This is GX. And this is GY. Uh, oh, J, 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 JX, uh, GY. Uh, and uh, 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 as you uh, I may know, uh, this uh, so usually uh, this uh, uh, flow uh, is proportional to the difference of uh, temperatures. It can be derived uh, uh, somehow, uh, but uh, uh, actually the best way to think it. Uh, uh, is uh, uh, to say that it is just some, some phenom uh, phenomenological uh, uh, law that uh, we can expand any function uh, 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 as a Taylor series. Uh, we know that uh, uh, J of uh, uh, so when and I just will. We know that uh, this energy flow uh, of uh, uh, for delta t equals to zero uh, equals to zero uh, because uh, uh, because it is uh, just uh, the same uh, temperature everywhere and there is no preferred uh, direction and if it is not zero we can expand it as a Taylor series. Uh, so uh, when delta t is non-zero, then j is, uh, in principle, some uh, uh, some matrix uh, c x uh, x uh, c x y c y x uh, c y y uh, delta t x uh, Delta T Y, but uh, uh, since uh, uh, everything is uh, 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 homogeneous, there are no preferred directions. Uh, 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 and then this matrix uh, can be uh, just uh, constant. So uh, we can uh, uh, say that this uh, flow is uh, uh, proportional to uh, C times, uh, well, instead of writing this uh, uh, delta T, let us uh, write uh, the actual formula that this uh, J is proportional to gradient of T. Uh, so um, uh, Gx is uh, C. Uh, dt over dx, uh, gy uh, is uh, c dt over dy. Uh, maybe c is a bad number, let us use some kappa or nu. Uh, uh, so, so this is uh, uh, the uh, flow at the boundaries of the, this uh, cell, just proportional to the gradient of uh, temperature. And if if you now uh, 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 want to compute the change of temperature here, uh, we can uh, say that. Uh, um, 
d of uh, uh, of uh, the energy in, in, inside mm. Ah, by, by the way, there is also a question about the sign of new and about the definition of new. And uh, uh, the answer is uh, that uh, 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 energy uh, uh, flows from uh, the uh, uh, warm body to the cold uh, one, which means that uh, we should uh, put uh, 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 here uh, let, let me think. Uh, mm, I should put in here the minus sign because uh, if uh, if there is a uh, if uh, the uh, temperature profile is uh, this one, uh, then uh, G is uh, uh, in the right direction. So, if you want correct signs, it should be written like this. Uh, so, and if you now ask uh, what is the change of energy in this uh, cell, uh, we need to multiply um, uh, heat capacity by a temperature. And differentiate in time. So this is the uh, total energy. And here we write uh, uh, this uh, the evidence of uh, this uh, energy flow. It will be equal to zero. So, or in other, in other way, we can say that there is some j x of. So, if you want to to derive this this term, we can say that there is some x zero and some x zero plus delta x. And here we have some y zero and y zero plus delta y. So. And the, the change of energy uh, in uh, uh, in some uh, a, a unit of time equals to uh, j x of uh, equals to minus j x of uh, um, j x of uh, x plus uh, X zero plus delta x uh, plus uh, j x of uh, x uh, zero. What is right? Maybe well, it's, it's fine. Mine is the same for j y. Mm. And uh, this should also be multiplied uh, by the uh, size of uh, uh, of uh, this uh, boundary of this uh, cell. So, um, because it is uh, the flow, and we should multiply uh, uh, by the length of boundary through which it uh, flows. So, so it is delta y. Uh, plus minus this times delta x, and if we again use a, a Taylor series uh, and uh, substitute uh, this uh, formulas, or maybe let us just uh, use a Taylor series here. So delta d e over d t equals to delta x delta y and here minus uh, dx uh, of uh, jx 
uh, minus d y of j y. And then uh, this uh, uh, energy uh, uh, of the uh, unitary rectangle, like of the rectangle with delta x delta y, uh, is uh, a heat capacity times temperature. We use the equation of state. Uh, I don't know how to call it. Like yeah, we use that form, that formula that energy is proportional to temperature. Mm. Oh, is, is it okay? So then, and then we, so we say that this E, this energy is uh, delta X, uh, delta Y, C, T. So substitute it here and uh, then go here. And uh, if you now uh, substitute here the e equation for the uh, energy flow, uh, it will give uh, dt over d time uh, equals to uh, nu over c uh, plus n of t. So in the heat equation. Uh, are, are there any questions about this? And, the, and the, it describes not only uh, the heat, uh, for example, so it describes uh, any such processes uh, when the flow is uh, proportional to some uh, gradient. Uh, and uh, uh, it can be, for example, diffusion. Uh, or it can be some uh, uh, random work, uh, or um, continuous, or uh, d discrete. Uh, uh, so in that case, uh, this uh, T or some other letter will be interpreted as uh, the probability uh, to be at some point and uh, or in, in some uh, area. So, so it uh, describes such phenomena and the, and the solutions of uh, this equation uh, uh, behave uh, like uh, uh, smoothening of uh, some uh, uh, function uh, uh, with uh, uh, quite uh, high uh, speed. So. So uh, are there any questions about this? And so, shall we make some break before the next part? So, okay. And if, for, for how long? Like for 10 minutes? Okay. So, Let's continue at, 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 at four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have sent the order of the derivative from C and the vector term. So I can do that because of this one, the theorem, right? Hmm? Uh, so is it the question uh, like you know, why we can uh, exchange uh, two degrees uh, to to derivatives? No. Ah. It's okay. alleged because I have the spark. So. Ah. Theorem of exchange of derivatives. Oh, I I will never care about this. No, they, we are just uh, stick to the classes of functions uh, where uh, it's possible to do something like this, or even if uh, it is some uh, worse uh, class of functions, uh, uh, people invent some tricks uh, how, how to avoid this, and uh, uh, basically n never care. But uh, uh, for simplicity, we can say that it is uh, just uh, uh, some smooth uh, function, uh, because uh, okay. if you study the wave equation, uh, it is natural to consider such initial conditions. Okay. So. Okay. Okay.